the first place that I went was a new to me yarn store. It's about 16 and a half miles away. It's called Rumpelstiltskin. They did have something there that I've been looking for that they don't have at my normal yarn shop. So I picked up this shelter from Brooklyn Tweed. Now my local yarn store does not carry Brooklyn Tweed, which was really surprising to me because they literally just pretty much about have everything. So it was really cool for me to be able to see this in person because I've been wanting to try the shelter and there's actually a couple of the Brooklyn Tweed yarns that I've been dying to check out and I was able to go and see it in person and to feel it and my skin tends to be a little bit sensitive to um to woolly wool. I wouldn't say I'm allergic or anything. I don't get a rash or whatever. It's just, it's a little itchy for me and it feels uncomfortable. And I tend to find myself kind of tugging and pulling at it. So I'm really careful about the uh, feel of anything that I get that's uh, wool. Um, Superwash Merino I can usually wear with no problem, but this is uh, more of a woolly-ish type of wool, but it felt, it felt okay to me. So, um, I was really excited about this. Let me go ahead and give you the specs. So the color here is Iceberg. And focus. This is American Targi Columbia Wool. It is a worsted weight, 140 yards, 128 meters. You can see the gauge. It is made in the USA. So that was really nice to see. And as I said, it's a little bit on the uh, rustic sort of feeling side. And here's a good look at it. I thought it was beautiful. I'm filming somewhere a little different today because I'm trying to take advantage of the little bit of natural light that comes in. I have a pretty dark um, apartment normally and I wanted to see um, if I could get a little natural light for you. But you can just see how beautiful that is. It's got some little like heathered look to it, some, some specks. So... Um, Really excited for that. I did do a little uh, short film on the uh, Brooklyn Tweed that they have there, and I'll put that up as a separate video. It's not a very long video, but I will put that up for you. And now that I've seen it and felt it in person, I will feel more confident um, ordering it if I don't want to go the 16 and a half miles down to that little shop. Uh, let's see. That was everything I got at Rumpelstiltskin. And then I went back to my regular yarn shop, which is Babetta's, and that is a huge yarn shop. So um, I'm really lucky that I have such a large one near me. And what I got there were these two. They are the West Yorkshire Spinners Fleece, and this is in the BFL or the Blue Paste Leicester, is that how you pronounce that? And it is 100% British wool. I do have another of those in this color that I already had. And I really like um, like the fleece. It feels really nice. It's nice and soft. In fact, it's uh, softer than the uh, Brooklyn tweed there. So I decided to get another one of that and then one of the uh, ivory color. But let's go ahead and have a look at the specs as soon as my camera decides to focus. There we go. As I said, it's 100% British wool. It is roving yarn, which is one of my absolute favorites. I love roving yarn. We're looking at 150 meters, 164 yards for a 100 gram hank. The washing instructions are there. It is reared, sheared, and spun in Britain. And really, uh, really nice. I really like that. And these are the uh, more natural uh, colorways. So we have two of those. And this is like a nice creamy sort of ivory color. And you can see on the roving yarn. Come on, focus, focus. It's going to be difficult today. And then here's this. So I did get those and I got them for 10% off, which was a good deal on that. And then I did go into the half off room. She's always got a she, um, section on holidays uh, where the classes are usually held, where it's all the half off yarn. So that was pretty cool. I got two of these. This is Simply Worsted by Haiku. And I'm just going to say right off the bat, my camera does a terrible job of filming uh, reds. So this looks bright and it's not. It's actually um, pretty close to, I'd almost say a cranberry color in, in real life. But it always kind of blows it out a bit and shows reds much brighter than they really are. In fact, this almost has a little bit of an orange tint to it on film, but nothing like that in real life. So let's look at the specs here. 
This is 55% merino superwash, 28% acrylic, and 17% nylon. 140 yards for 100 gram uh, hank. There you can see the washing instruction. Yeah, but anyway. So I got two of those at 50% off. And then I also got two of these. This is the Equinox or Equinox, how you choose to say that. This is hand dye. It is by Plymouth Yarns. And this is 65% extra fine merino, 20% linen and 15% mulberry silk. And you can see that it is 50 grams at approximately 137 yards. I did get two of them. I thought the color was really pretty. This is a little bit on the scratchy side, probably not quite as much as the shelter, but definitely more than those two. It's probably the linen, I guess, because it's super fine merino, but um, it was a really pretty color. And I thought, oh, there's a hundred grams right there. I make a hat or do something with that. And these also were 50% off. And then my last purchase was for a specific pattern I wanted to make. I would like to knit my first shawl. I haven't made any shawls up to this point. And the pattern that I picked, I found it on Ravelry. I just have a black and white picture of it but that's the shawl right there. And it is called the uh, Black River Blanket Shawl. And I believe it's by Sam Lamb, I guess. So um, yeah, I thought this would be really fun. So that's gonna be my first go at that. And what I got to try it or to make that with was something I've been kind of wanting to try, which is this Barocco Vintage. And this is 52% acrylic, 40% wool, and 8% nylon. It's nice and squishy, and um, I'm really excited to give this a try. I um, have a long-distance friend that also knits, and this is one of her um, go-to yarns, so I've been wanting to give it a go. So I did buy three... Where is it? Here it is. I did buy three hanks of that, and one of them is already wound and ready to go. And then for the stripes, I just bought this, like, kind of be somewhere between a cream and a white. It's whiter than a um, than an ivory, but not so stark white as a white white. So I thought that that would look really nice together for for that shawl to be the gray with the with the white stripes. So I'm excited to give that a go. Now, hopefully I won't shake the camera too much, but I'm gonna kind of come out a bit so you can sort of have a good pan at my Memorial Day haul, which is really kind of funny to even say I have a haul because about a week and a half ago, I went through and did a de-stash of about 200, maybe even 300 skeins. So to say that I'm getting more yarn is kind of funny. But you have to understand that I was given an entire yarn stash by a friend whose mother is moving across country and is not bringing her yarn. And she's really kind of getting out of knitting because of her hands anyway. And she pretty much said, I don't want to deal with the yarn. Um, just take it all. So you figure out what you want and you figure out what to do with what you don't want. So that was the um, stipulation for taking it. It's mostly all acrylic yarn and I do a lot of charity knitting and they suggest and actually they ask for acrylic projects because some of the um, patients and some of the people that they donate to um, might have allergies to animal fibers. So that particular haul uh, that she gave me was, or stash she gave me is perfect for charity knitting. So that being said, um, if I decide to put that de-stash video out, because I did film it, but it's quite long, um, you'll understand why I have a de-stash video and then <laughs> Here I am showing a haul. This is personal use yarn. That will all be charity knitting yarn. So anyway, um, I hope to see you guys soon and chat and we will uh, talk to you later. Happy knitting or crocheting.